Okay, this is Unit 3, ELC Review. We're talking about circles in this unit. Um, the first part is just some basic information about definitions, so you can read through that at your own pace, however you want to do that. But it goes over the word circle, radius, chord, diameter, secant, and tangent. And so I think I will draw some of these. So the radius, we should know, is half of the diameter, so that's the radius. A chord, end points are on the circle. Um, a diameter is a chord, so don't forget that. A chord is not necessarily a diameter, because for a diameter, it has to go through the center. So here's your diameter. The end points are on the circle but the diameter has to go through the center. Okay, so that's your diameter. So radius, this is your chord, and I'm just showing this, this is your diameter. And then if we do a secant, so if we have a circle here, your secant, it intersects the circle, so it just goes through the circle. So that's your secant, it just keeps going. Your tangent, remember, remember our tangent because he's the one, where do you get a tan? Outside. So he's found outside the circle. Um, it says a tangent line will be perpendicular. Perpendicular, here's our word, perpendicular. It makes that 90 degree angle. Please don't forget that, that's very important. It's perpendicular to the radius. So if I have my tangent line here and I had a radius, it will make a 90 degree here. Okay? Tangent segments um, from common external points. Common means they have something in common, something like they're outside or congruent. But we'll go over that later. Okay, and so this one here is just based off of the definition, draw the following. So we know the radius is like this. The chord, the end points are on the circle. The diameter has to go through the center. Sorry, my lines are crooked. And then let's look down here. There was nothing there. Oh, secant. Oh, secant goes through the circle. Sorry. Um, tangent is found on the outside, and it only touches one time. My picture probably doesn't look like it, but it only touches one time. Okay, now it says for this, define AB. What is line AB? Well, I see the end points are on the circle, and it doesn't go through the center, so I know it has to be a chord. Okay, let's look at PC. PC, this is in the center, and it goes through the end point, and there's a little perpendicular thing there, so I know that's radius. It doesn't go all the way through. Okay, and then the next one is XY. Let me do XY. Looks like it's on the outside. Only touches one time. I think that's where you get a tan from. So your tangent. So that is the parts of the circle. And so you can redo this however many times you want to, but just make sure you know the parts of the circle.